Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Choi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a spine surgery topic and the topic is gonna to be lumbar spine anatomy and a couple common conditions related to the lumbar spine that you might have heard of. So this here is a model of the lumbar spine and this is the back and this is the front. So the spine kind of sits like this in our back with this being the front. These bony structures here are called the spinous processes on the back. And if you feel your back and you feel the little ridges of bone, those are actually the spinous processes that you're feeling. So this is the back and this is the front where you have the vertebral bodies and the bones are stacked up one on top of each other. In between these bones, we have the discs and the discs are like shock absorbers. They act as cushions in our spine and we actually flex and extend our backs through them and we move through these. Okay. Well, we have these joints in the back and you can see them here. These joints here actually act like any other joint in our body, uh, like our knee or our hip. There's two bones and in between them are cartilage and we move through these joints as well. And when patients have arthritis in these facet joints, that can also cause back pain. The whole point of the spine is to protect our central nervous system, which includes our spinal cord and the nerves that kind of run out below the spinal cord. And so the nerves run down here and they come out and they branch out through the sides and they branch out to these nerves here. These are our nerve roots. And so they run through our neural foramen. You can see here this hole is where the nerves run out and that's our neural foramen. These nerves run to our legs and they power our muscles and they give us sensation through those nerves. If you look at how the spine is structured, there are five lumbar vertebral bones. So there's L5, L4, L3, L2, and L1. An MRI report, you may see that uh, there is uh, some disc herniation between L4 and L5. So that's between the fourth lumbar bone and the fifth lumbar bone. So this disc right here, and then so on and so forth. So this is 3, 4, L3, 4, L2, 3, and L1, 2. Now this bone down here, this is considered the sacrum, or you know, commonly known as a tailbone. And so this bone here is S1. The disc between L5 and S1, that's what it's considered, L5, S1 disc. So let's talk about a few common uh, spine conditions in the lower back uh, that are related to this anatomy. Sciatica is pain shooting down the legs. Uh, it can shoot into the thigh, into the calf, severe burning, people report numbness, tingling, just this uncomfortable pain that shoots down their leg, that's sciatica. And so how does that happen? When we look at the anatomy here, remember we talked about those nerves that run out the side in these neural foramen, out these windows. and. What happens is these discs, you can think of this disc as almost like a jelly donut and you take a jelly donut and you squish it really hard. What ends up happening is the jelly squirts out and if the jelly squirts out through the back, it would come here and it would pinch this nerve and the jelly, jelly would irritate this nerve and that's how sciatica is caused by a disc herniation. Now there's other causes for sciatica potentially, but that's a common cause from a disc herniation. The second condition that I wanted to touch upon is a long word. It's called spondylolisthesis, and I'll put it right here. And spondylolisthesis is a condition where you hear about people saying they have a slip disc or a slip vertebra. And if you think about how these bones are stacked up, they should be kind of stacked up one on top of each other with a, like a natural curve that you see here. But what can happen is that one of these bones can slide forward on the other. So at L4-5, which is a common place for a spondy or spondylolisthesis, this bone can shift forward on this bone. And what ends up happening is this nerve that's in between four and five can get caught in the foramen and get squeezed and that can cause sciatica too. Uh, the other thing that can happen is that the uh, neural tube here, the central canal here, where the nerves run down, if you have a slip and think about a tube and one bone kind of shifts forward on the other, then you have kinking of that tube and the nerves in that tube can get irritated as well and cause symptoms. And so that's how spondylolisthesis can be a problem in my patients. 
So I hope this video is helpful and that you were able to learn something about lumbar spine anatomy and some of the common spine conditions that I see. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe below because I'll be putting out future videos on more spine topics. Thanks for watching guys.